Hi there, my name is Pete and welcome to the IMM Financial Application Walkthrough for Export or Trade Finance. I'm going to show you how the application process works here so you'll know what to expect, as well as let you know what you'll need to provide. Before I get into things, I want to let you know that Export Finance and Trade Finance are essentially the same thing, just different terms for the same meaning, so I will be interchanging the terms throughout this video. And also, I want to point out, if you have seen the Accounts Receivable Factoring video, there will be many similarities between this video and that one because the programs are quite alike. To start with, you'll need to go to immfinancial.com. Once you're there, you'll need to click on the type of commercial finance product that you're interested in. Since we're discussing export finance, you'll go to that page by clicking the export finance button. On this page, you will find much information on our trade finance program. When you scroll down the page, you'll see what is needed in order to qualify, as well as some of the highlights. And while we're on the topic, I want to take the opportunity to let you know how trade or export finance works and what the general requirements are. So, what is trade or export finance? Trade finance is not a loan. It is a line of credit or advance on money that is owed to your company by your international customers. It is not for domestic customers either. If we're looking at doing a line of credit based on both international and domestic, that would be considered a blend of trade finance and accounts receivable factoring, which we'd be more than happy to provide. IMM Financial will generally set the advance rate at 80% or more against the amount of money that your international customers owe you. And when your customers pay their invoices that they owe, this will pay back the advance that you would have received. This means there is no fixed monthly payment for you to be concerned with. The amount advanced to you will grow with your sales. So as your sales increase, so will your line of credit. At the end of the day, the money that you draw down from the trade finance based line of credit is money that you are going to receive when your customers paid the invoices anyways. So how does the process actually work? That's a great question I will be more than happy to give you a high level perspective of the actual process. Once a trade facility has been established, IMM Financial will advance you on all current outstanding approved international invoices and also advance on any future invoices that have been issued to approved customers. So step one of the trade finance process is you issue an invoice to your customer. Step two provide the invoice and proof of delivery and acceptance of the invoice. Number three, IMM Financial may confirm the documents that are submitted. Number four, you will receive an advance deposited to your bank account. Then your customer will pay the invoice as per the terms of sale and finally 
IMM Financial will deduct that amount advanced to you for the initial invoice, which was deposited to your account, and then deposit the balance less the finance fee within 24 hours. And that's about it. The process repeats each time you raise a new invoice to your customers. Simple, but effective. Now that we've covered that, when you run the Export Finance page, select the Click Here to Start button. When you do that, there will be a pop-up requesting your name, email address, and telephone number. Just fill it in and click Get Started Here. Now, you'll receive an email at the address you provided, so you need to go to your inbox to retrieve that email. You need to open the email, and here you'll be able to confirm your request and go to the application page. In the welcome message, you'll find a link that you'll need to click on, which will take you to the IMM Financial Export Finance application page. The application page will open, and you'll find our site is certified secure. There will be five sections to the online application. If you prefer, you can scroll down to the bottom of the page and download the application in MS Word. On the Word version, it will have all the required fields and instructions letting you know where to email the application and the supporting documents. It's also important to point out here that if your company does not have a computerized accounting system set up yet, we have an Excel format aging accounts receivable template which you can download and complete as part of the required supporting documents for the application. Section 1 asks you for your contact information as well as that of your company. It's important to note you must have a legally organized business we cannot do business loans in a personal name. It's also important to point out that we need to know when the current ownership of the company started. Section 2 requests the company owner or signatory information. If there's only one owner only, the primary applicant part needs to be completed. If there are two owners holding more than 10% of the company, the second applicant part will need to be filled in. When there are more than two owners of the company, use the downloadable application form. Section 3 are for companies that are already carrying accounts receivable. If your company is too new and you don't have accounts receivable yet, just enter zero in the fields. Section 4 ask for background information for you and your company. This is where we ask for things such as are there any current outstanding loans? If the business operates in more than one location? Have there been any past credit issues? And things like that. Section 5 requests you to upload the supporting documents listed. Depending on the age of your company, you may not have all the supporting documents available yet. If you don't have the ones listed, just skip these fields. If you use a cloud storage like Dropbox, Google Drive, Box, OneDrive, and the like, you can simply provide the sharing link at the bottom of this section. At the bottom of the application, you'll find an authorization to obtain a credit report. You'll need to tick this box and confirm that you accept this and then fill in your complete name, your title at the company, and select the current date. When you're ready to send in your application, just click Submit. Once you submit, a message will be populated in the application area confirming 
that the application has been sent in. When you click Submit and a required field has been missed, you will get an error message with a red box around the field that is missing information. Just complete the required field and click Submit. And if everything's accepted, you'll receive the confirmation of submission page. Now, what happens next is your information will be received in our contact center and a business finance professional will review the information that you've submitted to ensure we have everything we need to do the initial review. Should there be anything missing, we will be in contact with you to collect the balance of the information that's needed for the underwriting team. Typically, once the file is put in for review, We'll have a response for you within a couple of business days. Depending on the response from the underwriter, we will then provide a terms and conditions agreement outlining the proposed financing, or we may require additional information based on what was found in the review. If, for some reason, we're not able to offer your company financing, we will explain to you why and let you know what needs to be done so that you can resubmit your application in the future. This brings us to the end of our walkthrough for the export finance application process. You see, we have made it as simple and painless as possible. The process is very much the same for all our commercial finance programs whether it's for accounts or simple finance, purchase order finance, small business loans, equipment financing, export finance, trade letters of credit, asset-based lending, or merger and acquisition finance. We truly look forward to working with you to give you the business financing that suits your needs.